Good night, good night, good night. Welcome to all our listeners tonight. It's Monday, the 23rd of November. It's getting to that time of year where we were starting to welcome the brand new one. And we kind of close off all that's left of this old one. There's a lot to discuss. Um, in fact, I may have to put aside in-depth discussion on a number of different um, topics today because I am committed to a very interesting, um, I would say, um, deep dive into the SKNFA and the teams of the SKNFA and their performances throughout the season. But as per usual, I will begin by reviewing the last week's sporting activities. So without further ado, I just want to say again, thanks for joining in. And tonight's discussion should be one as well that you may want to call in. So I will give out the numbers again in, a, in, a, in about another three or four minutes because this type of discussion tonight, I'm certain, will spark a lot of conversation. So in order to begin, let's start with the English Premier League that we started over the last weekend, and it did turn in some very interesting, some, it's still, it's still a lot, it's still early in the season, but the, the results themselves left mixed emotions depending on which side of the, the, the coin the games fell. So one of the first, I was treated to a bore, personally, a real snooze fest between Manchester United and West Brom, where we squeaked out a penalty and one one nil. I, I don't even want to discuss the game. It's not worth the discussion. Let's move on. The statement match was the two Spurs 2 0 win over Man City. Jose Mourinho putting Pep Guardiola to the sword. Tottenham indicating quite early that they mean business. An interesting statistics we've shown recently where Jose Mourinho has always won a title in his second season. So if that's not a statement of intent with that 2 0 victory over Man City, then nothing is. Brighton had a nice 2 1 win over Aston Villa, whose form has been sporadic. Kudos to them. Chelsea enjoyed a nice 2 0 cruise over Newcastle. And they are actually looking a lot stronger as the season progresses. Leicester succumbed to Liverpool. Brendan Rodgers apparently forgot his playbook at home. And. Liverpool thrashed them, own goal included, 3-0. Arsenal, <laughs> I don't know what to say about Arsenal. The, these guys are supposed to be gunners, but they seem to have very little ammunition. So they're firing a lot of blanks, and they fired a blank against Leeds on the weekend, 0-0. Nil, nil. Another uninspiring game from them. West Ham, 1-0 over Sheffield United. That's about as interesting as the Arsenal win, um, draw. And Everton, they're the new exciting team, and another exciting team of the EPL this season. They seem to have fallen back a little bit of form and had enjoyed a 3 2 cruise over Fulham at Craven Cottage. Today, Burnley got their first win of the season with a 1 0 win at Turf Moor over Crystal Palace. So, as the table now stands, we have. Tottenham Hotspur actually leading the league on 20 points. Their goal difference is what sets them apart from Liverpool, who are also on 20 points, both teams having only lost one. Chelsea is in third position on 18 points. Leicester City, despite that humbling, is still on 18 points in fourth position, just an inferior goal difference. And teams like Southampton and Everton are also tied for fifth and sixth positions respectively on 16 points with again goal difference separating them. Manchester United just cracked the top 10 on 13 points. Again, it's still early in the season. And Manchester City still have yet to crack the top 10. They're in 12th position on in 13th position with 12 points. So yeah. Um, Manchester really not looking very good so far, early in the season yet, but I would not want to be living in Manchester right now. It's very rainy in that type of, in that part of the year anyway. Uh, or in that part of the world at this time of the year is what I'm about to say, what I'm trying to say. 
A quick run through of the SK NFA Premier League. In fact, I'll save that one for last. Two things I need to mention very quickly. Last week, there was the Keith Atherton T20 competition. I've been trying to get the results, and I was aided by one of my colleagues um, today, this evening, actually, in terms of getting the results for the league. And along with that, I also got the results for the Hawk. SK St. Kitts Cricket Association Under 15 Youth League where the Hawks are the inaugural Youth League champions Youth League cricket champions so um, I also can can let you know that the, the cricket team from Keon Molyneux or Molyneux Keon Cricket Club as, I, as I've um, been educated today to know became out victorious by some 58 runs over the Sandy Point team. And what I am intending to do is to invite the individuals who shared this information with me on the program next week because I really think it's necessary that these results are dissected a little bit more and the general public needs to be more aware as to the type of cricket because the T20 was a very exciting competition. From all, um, from all intents and purposes. And I'm looking at the scores and there's some really standout performances, but some of these people I only know by their last names. And I think that there's a need to become familiar with not only for myself, as far as edification is concerned, but also for you, the general public. So I'll bring definitely invite someone on board in the near future to discuss um, those local cricket results that would have occurred over the past two weekends. Again, it's the the Hawks, who would have defeated the Jets um, in the Under-15 Youth League, and the molyneux Keon Cricket Club defeated the Sandy Point Cricket Club. If, if there's another word, no, I'm named for them, I'll get it for you by, by then as well too, by some 58 runs and was victorious in the Keith Offerton T20 competition last Sunday. Uh, on to volleyball, I again, um, there's there's a lot of activity going on in the volleyball arenas in the in Warner Park. So persons who are interested, I believe the games are be being played almost nightly now because of the rains that interrupted them previously. Um, also going to be getting and sharing a lot more of those updates with you as this competition because it's quite interesting and getting one or two of the little snippets and videos, but I don't think it's enough content for me to be able to share so that you understand what's happening, but it's a lot of activity and a lot of excitement from all things I'm hearing. Um, I'm sticking on the tour the cricket, and I should we have to mention the West Indies current tour of New Zealand. It's going to kick off officially on the 27th with three T20s and two test matches, as far as I'm, I understand. We played recently in a friendly with the New Zealand against the New Zealand A team. And Darren Bravo was the standout performer in that particular in that particular match, um, and he indicated he scored some 135 runs. It, the match ended in a draw. The bowling is apparently uninspired and is lacking cutting edge, but the batting, at least on first instance, is looking to be able to hold its own. So. They have one more warm-up match, and then they'll be going into the first 20, T20 on the 27th. The warm-up warm match is on the 25th. So for persons who are following the West Indies, it looks is so far shaping up to be an exciting series for all of us. The NBA window. That's another... So a number of different things are happening now in the NBA. You have the trades... Lakers are, as is expected, stocking up on all the the, 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 the the stars that they can get because they want to be able to maintain their dominance as, as, as any champion would. But there are also some other interesting trades to try and keep some players who are going into free agency next year, such as, I'm thinking about Giannis, and... There's also the trades from the free agents that are looking for trades during this offseason. Um, most teams have 
gotten already gotten actively involved. Most teams are trying to shape up their rosters. I am going to be dissecting that a bit more in one or two of our upcoming episodes. Then there's also the draft and the NBA draft and LaMelo Ball and his 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 number one pick and the well, sorry, not he's not number one, but we have to discuss the draft from the number one pick. And I, I keep thinking LaMelo Ball because I, I wanted him for the New York Knicks. But yeah, it, 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 it is a lot to dissect, a lot to discuss, and I don't think that I'll be able to do it justice within the two, three minutes that I'm dedicating to basketball tonight. So that's something maybe I will even invite my guy, Will Guy, to discuss with me a bit more. And maybe you can make some predictions into the new season. Um, so now to the SKNFE. I had the privilege, as usual, of commentating as well as viewing a number of these last, the last round of games where, to be brutally honest, I mean, every match had some level of significance. Even if it lacked in quality, it definitely had intrigue. And the most shocking of results actually occurred where I was predicting that Newton and St. Peter's would have made it easily into the Super 6, given their fixtures. But within the past two or week or two, I have seen a number of different events that have occurred in games, um, a lot of different storylines that <laughs> played out on the field, teams that found like in the instance of Spurs, they found they, they just stuck with it. You've you got to admire them for being able to make it. They, they stuck with it. They knew that it, 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 at least they had, that, had to have that internal confidence that if they just did what they had to do and they stuck with it, they would make it into the Super, into the super 6. And alternatively, you had Newtown, who, again, on paper, should have made it easily, struggled against teams such as um, superstars where they were held they were down 2 nil and had to actually come back to draw to all um, so South Stars uh, forgive me, South Stars superstars would have probably teared them to shreds um, and then they also played Mantab and struggled against Mantab and drew with Mantab so I don't, know, or do, I don't think they beat Mantab but either way they would have had to beat Mantab by some 13 goals based on their negative goal difference and there was no possibility of doing so so in that super in that South Stars game when they really should have been running away Newtown with a, a easy victory for some reason they found a way to trip over themselves and Unfortunately, they will not be participating in this year's Super 6, which to me, I think, was designed to, to capture some of those teams who may not be on the best form, but usually are traditional powerhouses when it comes to these type knockout-type situations. So, yeah, um, a brief review of the results without saying any more. You had Connery put a, a woeful SPD out of its misery. They're safe for next season, but a lot to be considered... Um, uh, down, in, down in, in Sadler's there. Uh, it's no longer SPD, actually. It's just Sadler's. But there's a lot to be considered. Those guys have so much potential. Disappointing that the season petered out in the way in which it did. Um, Trafalgar South Scars, 2-2 versus Newtown. That's the game I told you about. <sighs> Newtown fans, I'm so sorry for you to have to have witnessed that. Uh, Mantab gave themselves an opportunity to... No, actually, South Stars stayed up. South Stars stayed up. Mantab had the opportunity to, if they had beaten Newtown, they would have been able to stay up. But unfortunately, um, they succumbed to Newtown because Newtown themselves was looking for a big victory. So I don't think anybody realistically thought Newtown would have made it. But I think the game was more about whether or not Mantab would have found enough in them to overcome, to overcome um, New Newtown. So eventually it didn't happen, but South Stars remained up, and Mantab and the Security Forces FC, they were relegated. Um, but Mantab helped, assisted them in that by putting a 2-1 spanking in them over the weekend. Then we had 
St. Paul's continuing their fine vein of form with a 2-1 win over Keon. Uh, somewhat of a derby. Um, you also have the Old Road Jets succumbing to Garden Hotspur's FC. That game was a very, very good game. I, I'm going to discuss it some more in the upcoming um, segment. But Old Road Jets, the coaching staff, Coach Isaiah, the team... I honestly hope that you guys grow from strength to strength. The football I saw you play the other night against Garden Hotspurs, even though Garden Hotspurs um, were eventually victorious, and I said they have that fighting power that you have to admire. Jets, you have a lot to build on, and I really do hope you guys can get continue to grow from strength to strength. You're going to be one of my favorite teams going in. I, I, I always tend to root for the underdog, but definitely you've won, you've won my interest, and I'll be paying keen attention to your development over the next few. So, yeah, you succumb to, a, a, again, a resilient hot spurs. You know, um, that co the coach is, 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 is you, you could see, you could see the resilience in Deco, in the team, and they made it over the line. You know what I mean? So, Burgers and all of them have a reason to rejoice. Then you had Village Superstars with what actually became the, the least interesting game of that round was Village Superstars 2-0 win over Connery because both teams have already secured their place in the Super 6 and there was no real intrigue to whether or not. The only thing I think would have been, the only difference I think would have been if Village would have been able to win and remain first in the league because had they not, they would have fallen to second, falling in second to St. Paul's. So, yeah, that's a quick, as quick as possible review of the exciting football that took place this weekend. We will take a brief break, and within about two minutes or so, I'll invite my guest on, and we will be breaking down a bit more about this end of season, the end of season results for all the teams, 10 teams of the SK NFA Premier League. We'll be back.
are back again with the bench meeting. And I have here with me on the bench, Mr. Don Grant, first pres president of the SKNFA, um, and a good colleague of mine, a man with knowledgeable experience in football and in his community for years. And I had to invite him here for a number of different reasons, because I, I know he, he's, he attends most games and he, he has an in-depth knowledge and history of football here in the Federation. But I also know that he's very active in the other leagues um, around St. Kitts and Nevis mm -hmm. that tend to not get the airplay and airtime that we may rightly deserve because these are like the youth leagues and the females, the, 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 the females and, and, and the leagues that really and truly to give these, these youngsters and these ladies an opportunity and others an opportunity other than to be heard and seen other than the Premier League stars. So, Don, with me saying too much more, yeah, can, can you give me a read? Because I knew there was some playoffs that took place on the weekend. I saw it on your Facebook Live. <laughs> yes. So give me a little rundown I mean, uh, and, and, and let the general public know. Okay, um, good night. Um, I don't think I need to mention my name again. You did that. Um, just to say to the listening public that football and sports in St. Kitts and Nevis have always been something that I love. And being a part of the SKNFA as an executive member have even given me that impetus or drive to work for all the clubs throughout the Federation. Now, what I will do is just go back through because we have two sets of playoffs, one that's intended to start tomorrow night, mm -hmm. but one that started already from the first division. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll just give you a little history of what is happening in the first division as opposed to the Premier League. Um, last year, the Football Association made a change because, you know, last year we had a court battle to yes. reference um, one of our teams. It was uh, it ended um, and we didn't proceed with the league any further. So last year we didn't have a champion. Right. Um, the league is set up in a, a regular season. The regular season, there are no winners, but we tend to give the, the, the team that's to the top award maybe mm -hmm. a thousand dollars or so for having the most points right um in the first division though that was completed and we had two teams that came up to the premier league mm -hmm. in elko security forces right uh -huh. and right. also chafalgas South South Stars. Stars, right yes um then also because of the league not com being completed last year we decided not to relegate any team. Oh, okay. So Understood. the two teams that were more or less to be relegated, to be relegated I'm were assuming we're, we're Mantab and Mantab and K and um, OR, the Old Road Jets. Old Road Jets, right. Now, before I, before I came in, I heard you mention the Old Road Jets, and Old Road Jets is a fascinating story for us at the Football Association uh -huh. because the community of Old Road and its extension and uh, its environment um, virtuals, whatever, to challenges. That's what they claim it as. The team came up some years ago um, to Anthony Rollins, the past executive member, mm -hmm. and they played well to get into the Premier League. Um, strikers from that same community then was in the Premier League, okay. but they were relegated. Okay. And just as they were relegated, the teams our clubs decided to fuse. Mm. Some of the players decided they won't play with OR, but OR became the driving force in that community. Eventually, um, to no fault of Mr. Rollins, uh, the team was doing well and had some issues. Um, the Football Association had to intervene, and the, the, um, he, he stepped away because of our asking for the betterment of the club. Right. But... Oh, I was almost on the verge of not only being relegated, but clubs were actually taking away their players. I, I could remember walking to the office and meeting transfers for almost 11 of those players mm, going to various clubs. But they were able to survive. What I want to, what I want to do, though, is one. I have a, a, a whole segment dedicated to discussing, at least at least five minutes dedicated to discussing them, because I do think that they have a story that needs to be yes, told. Yes, it must but be told. When should the results, if possible, of the teams in the lower divisions, and then we're going to start to pick apart those other teams yes. as well. So 
back to the first division and the reason for the story, um, the that led right. making the, tea, the, the the Premier League bigger. The twelve clubs led to a smaller first division. Okay, that's the quality reason. Quality wise the, as well too. Quality wise, yes. And even though we had a break, I think the COVID made something even better out of the first division mm -hmm. because. One of the things that we suffer from, and most of the clubs would like to have their games claiming playing in their community home and away, right. but having the games after the restart played at the Kim Collins Stadium or in Bats mm -hmm. or even in the El Comedo Village Stadium in Nevis made the, 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 the organization of the matches a little bit easier. A little bit easier, and it brought a little challenge for some of the clubs, but they had to realize that this is what you're fighting for. You have okay. to be organized like this if you're promoted to Agreed. the Premier League. Agreed. So with the nine teams that we had, the table would show um, Newton Ground, Molyneux, Rivers of Living Water, Hard Times, a team from one of the teams from Nevis or clubs from Nevis, Electrofab Sandy Point, Davis Construction Lodge Patriots, mm -hmm. K uh, KFC Trinity Challengers United. TGE, Date Bay, Eagles, and Bats. Nine teams. One, uh, two of them from the, the, the sister island of Nevis. And That's hard times and Bats. And Bats. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, Bats saw a renaissance and they were able to fix their team with a bunch of youths and bring them through the phases. Interesting. Today, Bats is the leading team in the first division with all those youths. Okay. Good. As a matter of fact, they were able to top the first division to the maximum of 42. 42 points. Not maximum as in getting maximum amount, yeah. but they are 42 points leading TG, TGE, Date the Eagles, who are on 37 points. Right. So it's, a okay, so it's a comfortable... Comfortable lead. lead. Then behind them, they had the KFC Trinity... Challengers United at 34, and Davis Construction Lodge on 26 points. Okay. Those are the top four, four teams, teams right. who are playing in what we have is a final four okay. for the first division. The final four for the first division came about some years ago because we realized that most of the teams, when the top team was uh, ahead by a lot of points, a lot Gave of the up. teams started giving up and not playing. So we made it a little more ex uh, exciting by saying, you know what, the top four team will play. Have an opportunity. The, the, the argument or discussion is out there that the first the team that top the, the league should be automatically, automatically right. go up. And it's, it's a discussion that we'll have with mm -hmm. the clubs, but two teams are all, always now promoted. Uh, promoted. Right. Two teams will come down from the, right. the Premier League. Now, on Saturday, right. the playoff started at the King Collins Stadium, and they didn't disappoint. Because in our first game, with TGE, Date Bay, uh -huh. played against KFC Challengers, uh, there was a surprise um, winner there uh -huh. for some. Because the, the, the games between Date Bay and the Challengers have always been close. Okay. But Date Bay have a crew of young men right. who are pushing, to the, pushing the envelope. And this is one of the reasons why, I, uh, um, according to the story we were talking about just before, we, we, we want to help them in that community yeah, so yeah, that yeah, they can yeah, practice yeah. at home. But they were able to beat Challengers 3-0 on that night. That's a and good result. I don't think any of the matches that they have played before have led to any score line like that okay. in the regular part of the season. And where did they fall on the table again? They, um, they, they, yeah. they, they second. Okay. So they're number two. Okay, so they always have the potential to do, but... They know starting maybe they, maybe it's a case that they know starting to show that potential. Yes, okay. I, I believe me, that team have always had the potential mm -hmm. because they came before to the Premier League, mm -hmm. were relegated, and they're practically on their way back up. Okay, because they have drawn first blood, as you see, and they will play again on the twenty seventh. Okay, so um, Bats and Davis Construction, who's in fourth, mm -hmm. played the second game, a, a keenly matched game. Um, the goalkeeper being more the coach and the player. 
Uh, he ended up in the hospital. I the understand that. He, he had, yeah, he uh, broke his um, finger two places. That's Leon Nata. Uh, I spoke to him today. He sounds in good spirit, but he's just trying to get his uh, the doctor to tell him what they're going to do to his, his tongue. Yeah. And the team um, lost 2 1. Oh uh, it was an interesting game that it, in, in that Lodge came out to play. Lodge came out to play, but uh, the skill um, from what I've seen with the coach. Pastor mm -hmm. Alex, um, he have been able to keep a bunch of young guys together in Nevis and Bath's community mm -hmm. and make them shine. Okay, and that's something that he's he have been doing over the years. Okay, so for though the, the plus for the the, the 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 final four for the first division is off and running, and the second set of matches will be on the twenty seventh. Okay, now I, I must say though that. There would the, over the years there have been a renaissance in also Sandy Point. Right. Sandy Point came back to the, the football arena some years ago, was able to uh, make I've their way up to the Premier League. Them. Yes, they yes. came like he came up yes, from about two years ago. Yes. And went back down. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Um unfortunately they went back down. Hard times mm -hmm. is one of the latest addition to the Premier the first division the, right. the, the, the first division and to the SKN as a club. Second club gaining um um acceptance as a member. In Nevis, they are they are three. Okay. Uh, you have the Rivers, the Church. That's an annual team in the in the league. Uh, they did um well. Uh, Molyneux, Molyneux, and you always hear about Molyneux, and somebody's gonna tell you Molyneux ain't gonna show up. Right. But Molyneux came to their games. Okay. The the surprise of the bunch, and part of the story will be told about Newton Ground mm -hmm. because Newton Ground over the years a community with. Kevin and other one or two other guys have been fighting to get the team together. Right. But after COVID, a team that even if they played in Newton Gong, you just saw eleven players, came out to Kim Collins with twenty five players. Oh, that's brilliant. That's and that, brilliant. that 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 for me alone. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, and for the football association, that's it was encouraging. But they are still in the first division. Two teams will be promoted from the four that stop in the table. We had a lot of goals scored also. Um you had Bart scoring something like 39 goals. Deep Bay scoring 42, point, 42 goals. Um, surprisingly, Challengers, KFC Challengers had 43 goals in third place. Third place and scored the most goals. I mean, they conceded quite a few. Well, let me, let me retract a bit. KFC Challengers had 61 goals. That's uh, I've seen one, one side of the page. And the goal difference is 43. Lodge had 37 goals, a difference of nine. Okay. Um, go back up to, to Bats. Bats had 50 goals and difference of 39. And Deep Bay Eagles had 57 goals that they scored, right. a difference of 42 in the season. So we're looking forward to them uh, whoever coming yeah, yeah. To, to the Premier To bring League. something different yes. to the Premier League. Um, no, the, the football association over the years, and we we've been trying, and I think you were part of the award ceremonies that mm -hmm. we had uh, two years ago. Uh, we were looking forward to keep one again because we realized that we have to take the club, the players, and clubs to a different level. And after all the football that they play, award them in splendor. Okay, and that's something again that I know the present executive is planning. Um, there will be various individual awards for players and clubs. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna, I, I promise you, Don, I'm going to invite you back <laughs> on here and yes. we're going to go through that in more detail. <laughs> okay, so okay. Let's, let's get to the, the Premier League. Right. Um, so, what now, I, <coughs> forgive me. What no I wanted to do, as I said, is um, I wanted to look at, because you're a gentleman I know, very familiar with most of these teams. Yes. So I wanted to look at the season 2018, 2019. Um, well, that that's that that, that wouldn't the comparison wouldn't be the best unless you're gonna compare first division, first division because it didn't end. The, the last season didn't end. The last the, one I'm looking at was the twenty. The one that was actually won outright was village, village. Yes. Right. And what I said. So therefore, I said I didn't want to do it from the perspective of. Um, the, 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 the final Super 6. I wanted to do it just by the league end results. 
And that's what this here is a representation yes, of. Yes, yes. Right? Because I, I, you would not be able to gauge a champion because at the end of the day, you didn't have the completion. That's but true. at least you can gauge what their season-long performances were. And I sort of made a little grading system. I uh, see to you too. Yeah, um, <laughs> for myself in terms of what I thought overall. And I figured I, I, I said I would share, share with you some of the ideas and get your feedback as to what you think. Um, so we can start very quickly. Yes. The, the Rams Village Foop Superstars, they, they played 27 games. They won 19 of those 27. That's in the 28, 29, 18-19 season. 2018-19. This season. season, all teams played five less games. That should be noted. Yes. So all stats have to be weighed against that. True. Um, they won 18 this season as opposed to winning 19 the previous season. Average to me is a bit, which means that they have improved. Yes. Right? In terms of their winning percentage. They lost six last season. They lost one this season, which is an amazing statistic. They've been going. Um, they drew two last season and drew three this season. So at least they're, they're not giving up the losses. They're, they're finding some way to... to They've scored 84 goals as opposed to 56 the previous season. Sure. And they've conceded 21. So in, in, in terms of the goals scored and versus conceded, I think they, 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 hold, they, they hold the best record in the overall. Uh, yes. overall. Um, as I said, they, 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 they averaged 50, well, they had a total of 55 points at the end of the season as opposed to 63 the previous season. But that's By a, a shorter league. Yes, it's a, short it's a, it's yes. a shorter season. It's, it's, 12, it's 12 teams, two rounds. The, the last season that they played in was three rounds. Right. And right. So they played more games as you rightly suggested. And, and, and I can only assume that given their record here, they could have been expected to win more. More of those yes. games. I, if I, 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 don't, I, I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't think that's a prediction from the football association, yeah. but that's from what you're saying because yeah. I don't want persons to think that way. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a plan. But um just to just dwell into this a little bit. The village team is Studded, yeah. Um, Rogers, um, Bombers. A lot of these players have been scoring and making the national team for consistently some time now, at least some two, yes. three years yes. minimum. Yes, yes. And believe me, when Newtown was, and I tell I tell people this, Newtown years ago was the Manchester team of St. Kitts, where when you're coming up against Jotun, you're fearing. Right. Today, Village Has is more taking that. that. Yes. You know, it, it, just the image. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. they play to let you know, we're here. Okay. You know, so change of the league, change of the number of teams, no difference for them. Yeah. No difference. Yeah. They're still yeah. going to fight. Um, I saw a, a little piece of them going to church yesterday. and it's, it's, it's a, To me, it's about the togetherness. Okay. You know, so... They continue to play very good football. Whether they have the best coach or not, that's a question that you could ask. But, but that they, they play despite. Yes. Yes. You know yes. what I mean? Yes. They play despite. But you, but you still also have to give the coaches credit because that, that you can't level take that of consistency you can't take that is, is not fluke. That's true. That level of consistency they deserves, practice, deserves They put in the credit. work. Exactly. Yes. You know, and even after the COVID, they came back. They, uh, if you watch the stats for just before the COVID, before mm. the COVID um, came, they were at the top, but challenged right. by another team who was piping. Right. But I don't know if the 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 the, the, the COVID break uh, took that away. But we'll discuss that. We go. Okay. So let's let's move on I to. Graded, I graded them as an A, just for the record. Uh, yes, I saw the grade in here and um, grade eight out of what? A, A, A. Uh, okay, A. Yes, okay, A because yeah. I see eight here and no, um, no. okay. Uh, um, that that that. Yes, grade A. So okay, so A for me is good because they have been a consistent team, bunch yes. for the years, and you can't take that away from them. Um, they they did not win the championship last year, but they're still known yes. as the champions. Yes. All right. Yes. So let's let's move down. Second place was la second place last year was S. Crave Newtown United, and they dropped five positions to seventh place, where they could not even make. Super Six this season. Um, just a brief rundown of their stats. They scored. They won ten. They won fourteen games last time around. They won ten this time. Same mm -hmm. twenty-two game thing. 
They lost 10 the last time around. They only lost three, but they drew nine as opposed to three the last time around. I think True. that's the, the games maybe that they should have won, they didn't. True. The goal difference is also a negative seven. 42 scored four, 49 against, while opposed to the last time it was 27 for them, 56 4 and 20. So their goal scoring has left them. And their defense has also not, uh, has obviously conceded at least 20 more goals in this shortened season than they did the previous season. They finished on 33 points. Um, last which season, is 52. 52. Uh, I gave them an overall D grade. I, 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 should I accept the D? Um, I, I, it's, it's, it's um, debatable, but I, 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 because of the intimacy I have with the clubs, mm -hmm. I, I can tell you that the new town that we had back of last season, yeah, yeah, had some rough times. Okay. Um, coach have left. Um, new executive. Oh, so there's a bit of instability. Yeah, there was okay. a bit of instability and. For me, Don Grant, as an executive member, mm. what I said this, and I spare no punches when I say it, what I don't like about the sport when it comes to clubs is that you must have an election. You must change executives, whether they stay or not. Persons who ran the clubs before, if you lose, it is. I think that it, you should still support who is there. Because regardless if you're lost, it's your community. It's not a community that you moved out mm. of. Mm. And I think the, 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 the reflection of, of what we're seeing, something oh, was okay. wrong. I see, something I was see wrong. The linkage. Yes. You're saying that because it, the, the, of the instability, it's it, uh, it, it, it it's impacted the players, the everybody okay. in the community. Um, given the fact that they've recently held, the, 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 they have the new executive and everything in place, uh, I, I, I am so we have said to say that. Even though the D might be acceptable as a grade, they you can look out for them in the to, to do better. To do yes. better, they have a young team, very good players. You know, um, defense wise, goalkeeping they might have to do some fix. The defense, their midfield might be one of the things that definitely still, defense needs. To yes, work. one of the things that I still see though, and people have been talking about it, um, Wampi Lake, yeah, he's still there, Sashi. All those yeah, guys yeah. still playing. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know if because they, 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 they use their senior players for that long, they're still suffering from it. But they do have some young talent. I think I think they do. I think uh, that, that those guys came on late to try and see if they can help them get them yes. over the edge. Yes. But I think if you're honest with themselves, the mere fact that you have to depend on those guys at this stage to carry you over the lane tells you, or so many of them, I don't mind a one to, but so many of them tells you that there is definitely... Room One of the things I, 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 I'm, I'm seeing, and, and, and this is me looking into the future for Newtown, is that Newtown, because of the change of an executive and probably the coach, mm -hmm. some of the players who moved away when they were having the instabilities, May I'm, I'm, well I, I'm looking forward to maybe some of them returning Coming back home. and playing a more yes, for the next role. season. I've heard that discussion as well in a, a different, some different yes. forums. Um, num, num, I third place from last se season was... H.E. Garden Hot Spurs, this play, they've fallen three positions down to sixth. They managed to scrape through the qualification of the Super Six. As I said, the, the mere fact that they're there shows a, a, a steely type of determination. But the mere fact that they've fallen off where they, they let me just a brief run down of having paid f five less games. They one, won ten. They, they won fourteen as opposed to ten this season. Mm -hmm. They lost five last season as opposed to three this season. So the results are pretty similar. They drew one more this season, nine as opposed to eight. Their goals four last season was forty eight as opposed to thirty four. And the goals against, well, that's the difference, I would think, where the defense conceded almost as many goals, 33 last season as opposed to 31, having played five less games. And the goal difference last season was 15 as opposed to three. The points was 47 as opposed to 33. So there's a bit of a fall off there. Uh, in some, some areas you can see consistency, but um, I, I gave them a C. 
in the sense that I, I, I know they, may, they too are going through a little rebuilding phase. Yes. And uh, it's not a failure, but it's obviously, I think everybody within the camp knows there's room. But then I also said to someone, do not rule them out in this Super 6 either. And, and the good thing about it too is that the son of this soil, Deagle, yeah. um, Deagle Huggins, returned to be the coach. I think there's a, a bit of respect between him and them. It might be a project that they're building. Building on, yes, yes. exactly. And uh, for me, I, I've seen the executive and other persons who tend to be supportive from what I've seen. Uh, I tend to just peep in on some of the teams um, when they're practicing and you look at see what's going on with mm -hmm, them. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I think Deco as a coach, he sets a standard. Okay. And sometimes he don't, you, you don't, you don't get him to budge. You know, but... I think that's something that the clubs need. Um, you got to set standards and goals how you want teams to, yeah, to I've react. I've seen some good things coming out of them. They've got a little tall defender there in the back, a young fellow apparently. Um, can't remember his name right now, but there's a lot I see that. Yes, that's, that's there's this fellow, Kidman, um, Stingman. I, I, I keep referring him to that because he plays well, scores well, yes, good yes, goals. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And I think he um, Woven for me, um, well, Woven have played off and on at times. Um, they have seen some of the old um, players who used to defend who come back again. Um, they, uh, it's a project that I think, with the executive that they have, will get it right. Okay. They will get it right. You know, um, the, the weirdest thing about it, though, is that after the COVID, football played from then to, till it ended all competitive in it each area. Okay. Every match counted for someone, whether it's going to be relegated or whether he's going to make it. And the last match between... Um, the same old road jets mm -hmm. and garden. Did you see? It was a fight yeah. for it was a fight. It was, it was yeah, a it was very, a fight. very good match. A very good match. So, so, so there's a lot of good for them. They might have fallen off from what we had before, but then again, it's a reduced season. Process. Yes, and it's a process for, for them. Um, are we, to, are we to, not to yet challenge. sure how COVID has affected them long term? So. Yes, yes. Fourth, what last time was SL Horsford St. Paul's. They finished second this season. Um, on the table that is. What, what was your grading for for, for oh, um, Spurs C? Oh, okay. Uh, you could. I, I'll, I'll accept that. Um, we got to St. Paul's. St. Before. Paul's. They won seventeen games as opposed to eleven with a longer season last time around. Um, so they definitely won a lot more. They lost eight last time around. They lost three this season. They drew eight last time around. They only drew two this season. Um. They scored 24 more goals, 64 as opposed to 40. They conceded nine less goals, tw 17 as opposed to 26. Their goal difference is some 33 plus in the sense that their goal difference is 14 last time. They're now 47, That's only bettered by Rams Village Superstars. Yes. And their points, despite a shorter season, has improved from 41 to 54. I gave them an overall grade of A as well, given the improvements they have made. I think they will accept it. Um, St. Paul's is playing behind a talisman who is scoring goals, whether his back is to the, the, the goal, goal or otherwise. Or otherwise. <laughs> um, what I saw at the end, uh, coming to the end, though, uh, you saw other persons scoring. Stepping up. You know, the, the Dan Roy, uh, Mr. Leibard, um, you had Clark, you know. So... The, 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 the super six is poised. Yes. Uh, what, what, what will happen? And, and that's what's baiting everybody. What will St. Paul's do? Yes. You know? Yes. And yes. if you have to compare past seasons to now, the talisman was iffy mm -hmm. at times. Um, won't dwell into his, 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 what was causing that. Now he's focused. But first, now he's focused. Okay. I, I peed in on their the, the, the practice yesterday morning and he's down with a sweat and hearing to go. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. While yeah. the guy's Go going to the scrimmage, he left forward and started running. Right. You know, and yeah, yeah, you, you yeah. see that the focus. The yes, focus. the focus is there. Right. So um, the, the I like that type of story. Yes. To be honest, I, yes. I, I like. Um, and but as he said, though, I do also see a growth. I did also see the growth in them. Yeah, matured. overall, That's there's true. a certain level of maturity now that you're getting in the team overall that is befitting of their position on the table. Yes, they they, they don't have the star studded effect of the Rams Village Superstars, but a worthy second place nonetheless. Fifth place the last time was Seoul Island Otto Connery. They ended up third this time around. 
They won 15 goals. They won 15 games as opposed to 11 the last time. They lost. Uh, that, that's that's a typo there. Lost seven the last time. I believe they would have lost. I can't. I, I'll, I'll tell you now. Connery, they lost seven this time. Seven this time? Yes. Okay. So it, it, it actually evens itself out. Yeah, it's a good 22. Yeah, and then they... they, they so, yeah, uh, it's, they, for them, it's either a win or a loss, eh? Yeah. Um, they, they did improve, though, overall. Points. Uh, the dangerous team as i keep saying because they do have some very experienced campaigners and yes. some very dangerous campaigners in Mitchum, their ranks um you can, yeah you don't you know, those guys have been Swazzle, there yeah you know they have a very good goalkeeper you know they've been um, there for a while and and there's no ruling them out there's no yeah they have they have a young um coach asim jenkins um went to the club made some changes it seems as though they are they're, they're mentioned no no, dif- no fault of the past coach because he yeah. went there and bought a championship. Right. Will Mr. Jenkins bring an, a championship to, to Connery? It's left to be seen. It's left to be seen. Uh, the, the only problem for them, for me, um, they did better. Or they, they, they would have lost a player or two. Um, I've seen other players come back. They have lost some young players to Keon, mm-hmm. but uh, it is still uh, a force to be reckoned. I gave them a B in, in my overall end of season record. In if, I, if I know Connery well, they will tell you they want an A. So, <laughs> But I think they accept your, 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 your B. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not sure if they're A yet. I mean, as I said, you have to have the fear-inspired kind of, of, of effect, and I don't think um, they have that. In sixth position, um, last time, fourth this time around, is k and again, they made an improvement, two p- station, um, positions up. They won 14 games as opposed to 11 last time. They lost two as opposed to five the last time, which meant, t- which meant the defense improved. They even drew less. They drew six as opposed Keon, to... I think they lost six. They lost six, yes. Yeah. Sorry, I'm thinking I'm looking at the draw column. And, and then So they drew two as opposed to five. They lost six as opposed to eleven, so they certainly cut down in the, lo- in the loss column. They scored a lot more goals, sixty-four as opposed to twenty-five. They conceded, I would think, yes, more than they should, in the sense that they conceded more, thirty-three as opposed to twenty-nine the last time, and they played less games. So that's not necessarily. I, I think good. I think one of the problems in the, the defense and scoring is that they need to settle down on a goalkeeper. You need to find a way a goalkeeper. Mine, I'm not discrediting the goalkeepers that they have, but they keep alternating. Okay. Because I don't think it's the trust they have. The comfort of the comfort. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But um Keon is now, as opposed to then, a very young team now. Uh, as I said, a few of the, the players who used to play Connery have moved there. Um I'm sure the average age of this team is twenty five. Oh, if good, that if, if it's time. that old. Right. It might be right. less. You know, but Which means that they have some learning yes, and, yes. A, and a good up, a good upside. Because I have seen a lot of talent in the games that I've watched. A lot and of young yeah. guys, eh? Yeah. Malik, um, yeah. Ma- Matthew, Lewis. You know, those guys are yeah. young guys who are yeah. willing yeah. to go. Yeah. You know? yeah. Just give them a little bit more experience yes. and they'll be fine. Great. I gave them a B plus. Yeah, they'll take that. Um, seventh. Last season, ninth this season, my team, my home team. <laughs> my Sabas, community team, yes. You know, your community team. I had to give them a C- minus based on their performances. They won six games as opposed to nine the last time. They drew five as opposed to two the last time. They lost 11 games as opposed to 16 the last time. There's a whole lot that needs to improve. There, that there's a lot to be said. And, and yeah, because I live yeah. in the community, as an executive member, sometimes I, I get cuss for it from persons. But as an executive member, my responsibility is all clubs, not a specific club that even is on my community. And I have interest there. But I've seen issues with coaches, players um, who are not settling down. Um, I think the players, some of the players' eyes are on other teams rather than on um, focusing on what um, they are um, doing. So I think it came out um, over the season. 
this season. So if if, if they, they make it, then you can have problems. You know, well, lose I some think I, uh, well, I I can't say yes or no, but I know a date being the Premier League is going to be a, 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 a tense match between, between them. The, <laughs> you know, so a derby. What is your grade? I gave them a C minus. C minus. Yeah. Will they take that? I think they'll have to accept I it based on based on, what, it, yeah, yeah, based on what yeah based on what they've been, been happening. They deserve anything more. Yes. Atiba Harris and Peters FC. Um, they moved from eighth to fifth, a point, a three point jump. I gave them a B plus. Um, they won more games, five more. They drew less games, three less. They lost less games, seven less, eight as opposed to fifteen the last time. They scored more goals, sixty one as opposed to twenty seven. They conceded less goals, thirty three as opposed to forty four. So their numbers are trending in the right direction. They are. Um, new even coach, if they're in fifth New place. coach. I think the players have a belief that they can. Right. Um, the executive that I know, um, Mr. Bass, Kim and those guys who are working with the team, they, I think they are closely knit and, and trying to push the envelope. They will always have challenges. But I think that where they are now and... For Coach Nets, who is working with them for second time around, mm -hmm. he have mm -hmm. always been able to get go something above extra and beyond from them. Out of them, agreed. Yes. Above yes. all coaches I've seen with, with, with them, he seems he, to have a special seems relationship. Be, yes, yes. yes. Um, so I gave them a B plus. I think they're, they're they deserve they deserve it of that. Um, quickly, Mantab, they were in relegation before. They remained in relegation. I just gave them a C. I didn't punish them too much. There was no real major improvement. In fact, they won four, but that could have been because they played more games. They lost. They only won two this time. They drew and they lost a whole lot. The question for me is that they have good players, but I, I don't think there's a belief in them that they're playing for something. What came out, though, in the last match, it, 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 it was a realization that why are we on the in the big brink, <laughs> yeah, the brink of going, of going home. home, and they fought, and they and they fought, they fought. And would 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 they would if they had won, would we have seen a different mantab next season? I don't know, uh, and that's the question but for me. To be honest, they didn't put themselves, they didn't give themselves enough of a chance by their previous to remain. Yes, yes, yes. So I think it's a work in progress, and they yeah. will go down and have to. I, I hope they stay together. Because it's it's all it's always a team like this that will go down and come right back. Okay, up. okay. Um, briefly, well, oh gosh, I didn't want it to be brief, but you did a little background on the Jets. I gave the Jets a B minus. <laughs> they were in tenth position last time around in time for relegation. They were eighth. They were battling out. It's a close eighth. They were battling for for for, for that for, to, um, super six position. Those guys deserve some major recognition. Coach Isaiah. All those folks, I, I really want to give them a shout out. I don't know them personally, but I really think at least a minute should be given a shout out. Tiki Kwan Morris, Jew, Fish, a lot of those players, Lance included. Those players have made this OR Jets, the Jets, United Jets, all old Jets, uh, a model team for what we can do if the Football Association always hold on to the club. Okay. Because if we hadn't intervened, this wouldn't have been here. Morris joining the club have made it better. The challenges for me is that I, I would like to see the community and someone who leads them in terms of on the field who change their mindset at times because they tend to lose focus and get wild up. Well, given but this, given this type of performance I saw against Spurs, I hope I I I really am looking forward to seeing them next season. Next season, That's yes. I, I can, I'm, I, I'm going to tell you something now. Players gonna join this bunch, but I hope they don't upset the, the, what's the there. chemistry that's yes, there now. Yes. Um yes. well Morris is a seasoned campaigner. Yes. And he has won with Connery already, so yes. I, I'm not and I know he's about. he challenged these guys a lot. You know, so I, I expect better from them. Security forces. Uh, well, we have the two these are the two guys that came up last season. I left them for last because one is gonna stay up with us, Trafalgar South Stars. Kudos to them. And the other one is going to go back down. The security forces, they conceded 105 goals. So it, there is no doubt in my mind that they deserve the, the fate that they're... The, the one thing I will say for the said though, um, my ears going back and forth from Trinidad, 
Um, I've always said to the security forces, as a police team, security team, I think they should do better. They should be fitter and poised for to be yeah, there. It, you know? I, I watched one or two of the games and they they weren't worth our time, to be brutally honest. I think they deserved every licking they got. Um, and in terms of being, like you said, security forces supposed to be disciplined. So those are type of conversations we shouldn't even be having. having. That is true. With, 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 with that type of team. So, Trafalgar South Stars. Trafalgar South Stars. I'm glad they were able to stay up. I saw some good things from them. Late. 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 But it's enough for us to look, up, look at them and say, hey, let me give you another chance. Yes, yes. And if you fought so hard to, 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 to remain up and you got yourself over that, then those who haven't been able to make that mark, whilst I'm sorry for you, hey, shake your hand. Wherever Gibbs, mm -hmm. a, a coach or player, whatever he was with um, Soul Stars over the years, wherever he is today, yeah. he's smiling to say, my team reached the Premier League, they have stayed, and there's hope. And also, I just want the guys to stick together. I, but look forward, I, I, I think I, that we, 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 see, we will see something challenging next season. Coming out from South yes, Stars. Yes, and right, the Super Six should be sweet. Um, I'll come back uh, at another time um, because there are a lot of interesting things that we plan to do for the Super Six. You know, the price has gone up $50,000. Each team in the Premier League now leave. The, whether you leave or relegated, you're going to you're gonna be going with something. Okay. Once ago, you go down, you don't have anything. You just paid your, to register. No, no, everybody again, gets. I believe that they deserve because I would like it to be broken down specifically for yes. everybody. Yes. So um, I know we've gone a little over time, but it was absolutely necessary. Um, but oh, actually, we were given a little little bit <laughs> yes, of extra yes. time. So thank you guys. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, so you, maybe you can then now break it down a little bit. Tell us what's happening in this Super 6. What makes it so exciting? I, I must say, I had my doubts when it was first announced in the sense that I thought it was going to be a bit more, it was drawing out the season a little bit longer than it should have been. I was questioning the quality. But now, having seen the excitement coming down toward the end of this last season there, um, I, I can see the, 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 the vision that was that was started with the with the with, with the super six so give me a little bit of what's happening okay the, our president anthony johnson um had this vision that more persons or clubs in football should be given more mm -hmm. and what we, what we had before was the final four four teams exposed to the top right. you know and we did he didn't feel as though the t the pie was being shared okay and came up with the idea of the super six how do we sell the Super Six? We had a, a, a committee, you know, because we mm -hmm. were poised to launch and do a lot of things for it. Um, one of the things, uh, we had the, the, the coordination meeting um, yesterday for the clubs. Uh, on a Sunday, they came. Um, what we had, uh, we had already envisaged that we'll bring in shirts for all six teams, 30 Brilliant. shirts to, to sell it. So they will wear that shirt, say, uh, exposing the... the Super yes, Six? Yes, ah, yes, that's, yes, that's, because that's... that's, that's the clubs, though, will. Um, some of them are saying they want to put in, put on their logo. That's fine, but we have their logo stick to them and what they want, their sponsors. They want to do that. Right. Yeah. Um, so we started there. We wanted to brand the football. Okay. Brand the Super Six. Right. MVPs. Again, I go back to because we had the award ceremony. We were finally able to get one of the, the award ceremony, and we plan to go a bigger one this time to to make the players feel that's what you are. Okay. What Females, you've earned. What you've earned. Right. Um, winners know. Fifty thousand dollars. We're celebrating you. We're celebrating you. Okay. You know, um, in the past we have had Swatch, the Polish, the sports the, um, center, all those things, mm -hmm. giving awards to the MVPs and all those things. Right. We're we're doing that. Right. But one of the things that we have in football, because it's amateur football, mm -hmm. the clubs don't have the the funds. Our football is supported basically by FIFA. Right. Not even the gate makes the amount that we want to, but. We want to give back to each player something in their hand that's tangible, mm -hmm. even if it's a few funds. Okay, you that's, know, that's, so, that's, so, that's so it's monetarized. Thing. So, so um, Vince, 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 uh, are you actually? I wanted you to hear this this particular point here because remember you told me I had a question for Don. No, no, it's not a question he asked. It was something he said. Repeat that there for me. Um, One um, of the things that we're doing in this Super Six, we want to monetarize the players getting something from it, individual players. Because even though it's not a, prim, a, 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 a professional league, the, 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 the president in his leadership thought that, hey, we need to give those guys something in their hands. You know? We, we, the, 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 the sad thing, though, is mm -hmm. that COVID is here. Right. And 
what we want fans to realize we're no longer going to have a pack stadium of let's say 3,000 okay, 2,000 right, fans right we are going to have half of whatever we could have done before right. yes um we need persons to come make sure you walk with your mask keep them on we have the space inside the stadium social distance or physical distance mm -hmm. um if yes if you're with your family you can stay together but um before you run away from the topic yeah. um my question to you is um yes you're going to start the monetizing of the um super the gate. six super six the players the, the players six, yes um why only in the Super Six? Why not in the regular season? Because, okay, let's say before COVID, when, for example, when you had like a Newtown versus um, Village, per se, the, the, um, the stadium would be packed. And I think that it is only fear. These people I, I who are entertaining, these people who are entertaining, um, this number of fans should be paid. Because if the fan, if the football players was to come together and let's, let's just walk out the park today, we are not going to pay to watch the grass. No day. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> That is that is true. Um, they, there's a, a lot of conversation as to a amateur as opposed to a semi-professional or professional league. But we moved away from amateur. We are amateur. We are amateur. Yeah, the league is we, still we, amateur. We can't register as anything are, but amateur. We are amateur, and that's where persons are making the mistake. Mm -hmm. All right? But bear with me. There's nothing wrong with we awarding... Uh, 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 a player of the match, each match, your award, something like that. We can. Um, there are two, there's a two-way street when it comes to the football and awarding. Remember, we're preparing players to go to college. We're pre preparing players to probably move off to semi-professional or professional. You still have to watch what you do with some of the players. Players who are going to college cannot be taking Yeah. Um, taking money that money. is a fact because it will mess you, you up you got to be their, careful the their, their chances because there. you you'll see, you'll sell them as professionals when they are not um the sponsorship of a professional league where the players get paid is something that you have to work on um let let's take a sponsor uh, i i'll just pick a, a, co a company that sponsors a team sl hospitals uh, let's take rams the sponsor are uh, these clubs monetize enough to to pay their players because in the professional realm they the clubs pay their players are we I, I, you, sp you spoke about this the stands being full i want persons to be careful with that that, that label of stands being full because just last night in our meeting i had to say to some of the clubs and persons the security had to say we are cheating the football association and the players themselves because we have complimentary passes that we give clubs and persons. And if we don't watch the gate, 10 persons come in on the same pass. Agreed. I've seen that. 10. Man. That's few. You know, so we, it's a discussion that we need to have when it comes to security, security, everything that is involved in, in yeah. pain. Abuse. In, in, in addition to that, pain have now become a part of the sport. They're no longer volunteers. We don't have volunteers on the field as um, as referees. We pay them a little more as a stipend. If you have Red Cross, whatever, everybody who come today come with a fee. It's just the players alone that we need to find a way to fix so that they can get something in their hands. And it has to be a discussion between the clubs and the sponsors or business partners and as the, well as and the FA. FA. Okay, feel. Um, but you were talking about players moving away from saying I'm going to college. Yeah. Uh, for example, semi pro. The, um, let's be realistic. If um, there are 500 players, 5% 5 of those players going to college, no. We may not asking you. They, they, I, I'm telling you, yeah, no. Um, semi pro, there's a possibility because we know within ourselves. Like, um, I, I spoke to numerous players before, mm -hmm. and we, you, you, you uh, basically tell them the best way to reach a higher level is to go to school. What do you want to hear that? Uh, Let's I believe be me. I believe me. We, we have had that um, example of players don't want to go to college, but instead we try to get to a professional league. Now, you got to also bear in mind that we think it's a nevis in the realm of 211 countries playing football where we sit. We are market. We, we, we reach out to scouts. Scouts reach out to us. Colleges reach out to us. Clubs. As a matter of fact, some of our players will go to Trinidad, the Jamaica, 
for me as an executive member, sometimes I feel that our prayers are being used. I, I, I feel that way, and I'm not going to apologize for that. I, I would like to see our players moving into maybe Central America, maybe Europe, but there are challenges with our ranking and what we play. We have to sell our players, our players' attitude to going out there because we have had players who have gone out, and these might be the real ones. But when they reach, they expect what they're accustomed to at home, and they don't acclimatize, and they find themselves back, back home. home. Okay, Dan. Um, quick question: How 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 is the selection process for players to go overseas or abroad? What is the selection process like? Selection for national team or to go to college or and yeah, college and the national team. Okay. Um, the the technical department that we have, there's a technical committee, there's a technical director, and so on. Most of the time we have, when we play games, and this is the reason why the Football Association have tried its best to have our games seen abroad. We brought in Andrew Huey, and believe me, what his production is doing is better. Our games are seen all over. But it's a two-way street. Colleges, scouts, see you, or they request players. We have um, scouts, again, we have contact with schools, contact with other countries who are part of football. They will reach out to you. Um, they might represent a club or a school. Hey, we're looking for a defender. We're looking for... And that is how it goes. Then the information comes to the football association and goes to the technical department and the technical director. And they, from what we have, they start selecting, hey, these are the persons that we're looking at. But... There's also a, a, a backward draw for us because sometimes some of the players don't have a visa. Those are things we have to quickly work on. There are also players who, who get contacted by scouts to go places and we, we, we find out about them last minute. But the executive that I am a part of with Johnson as the president, whether they come later or not, once the football association have the money or it has to come from his pocket, he helps. The problem is, we need to be fair across the board. If you get contacted by a scout, let us know. Don't do it through the back door. Because if it goes wrong, the football association have to reach off it. Because you're all players. So it's colleges, they send scouts, they send the information. For example, after our under-23 play, team played in Jamaica, Jamaica didn't beat us. Arnett Garden sent asking about specific players. Some of the players, when they hear Jamaica, they were like, me, I'm going to Jamaica. You know? Um, eventually, two of our players went, Gio and Salas. Now, they came back home because of the COVID. Um, what could have become of them? We don't know. But we have players like Atiba, who went out there and suck up, took it, and survived. We have had uh, uh, Kayamba, Keith Kayamba Gums. Keith Kermer Gums ran with his dog, played football all morning, all day, because he was preparing for something bigger. Our players, it's not really down to the Football Association alone. It's down to players and the system, the way they approach everything. So it, it's a two-way street, but we, from the Football Association, we never, we have had, we, do you know we have females out there who got to college because of football, and they're the ones who took it and gone? And, and um, they, they made something of it. But most of the time, the fellas, we, we offer the SATs. Because we feel that football and education should be married. Why? Football can last forever. But if you had education, that is why. And we have, we have had players who, for, uh, we have partners in New York, um, the soccer graduates. They have scouts from colleges who will come in and look at the players. And some of the players will frankly say, I don't want to go to college. But it's a start. And when you hear it on the street, it sounds like the Football Association is doing something wrong. But we are not because we will always look out for the players, whether male, female or not. I'll say this because the fact that young men like you are asking the question, there is a lot that we need to do. And we always tell ourselves we are suffering because we do so much, but we don't let it be known. FIFA gives $1 million annually. We get it into tranches of $500,000. The money has been increased over the years. But you know what FIFA does? They have increased the tournaments. So we have 
on the 15 boys and girls, on the, 15, on the 17 boys and girls, on the 20s. And you have your Olympic qualifiers at time, World Cup qualifiers. But here, one of the problems we have in St. Kitts. We are a British country where most of us don't have a visa. The youth leagues, most of the youth leagues or tournaments are played in Tampa. Ooh. What happened? Most of the players don't have a visa. So here what we have to do. We have to buy tickets. We have to do two trips. Barbados with the monies that we have to go one way and still buy the tickets to go to Tampa. Sometimes some of the players don't even get you. What, what about hosting some of these competitions? The comp the, for some reason, since um, the new president of um, FIFA, mm -hmm. Infantino, and the president for, um, for CONCACAF, for some reason there... I don't know if you guys were following the football. There was some breakdown in the Caribbean with um, Webb in okay, Cayman yeah. Islands. Mm -hmm. And they, they have moved most of the tournaments to, to, to out of the car, especially the youths. And that's our handicap. When we took over as the executives of football, you know what we did? We played so many tournaments in St. Kitts because we wanted to expose our talent. But it also come at a cost. Because every time... We host, we spend up to $300,000. Accommodation, transportation, feeding. But people still ask you, we are doing with the money. <laughs> you know? And believe me, and this is why I don't hide the facts. I, don't, I will never hide the information because people take what we do for granted. In most instances. You know? So that's a, 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 you know, the, the, this part of the show is yours. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, but, but, but I... I it, it would also behoove us to not acknowledge that there is still a lot more that we can, can, can and do. should be done. I, I'm going to say this for, 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 for myself as an executive member who have been there for almost 12 years. One of the things I've always struggled with, I, I, I've, I've be, I, I live in Sadlers and I've gone to, I try to see all the games that I can see. Right. And my feelings as an executive member for national team, all our national teams, um, selection there should be a selection committee. Why a selection committee? One or two men or a lady cannot watch all the games and all the talent okay. we have in St. Kitts. Okay. And you need to move around the islands and see. We, ha we have suffered from where the, the, one of the main selectors or some of the selectors only come to the park for the last game. Well, what I'm going to do, Don, here's what I can do, right? Before the year is done, Vince, we're going to pull him back in here. And you're going to get nothing but the truth and what we do. And we can I'm fire, not going to hide it. We can fire some questions similar to... to, to oh, well, because I want to challenge, <laughs> I wanna challenge you on, on, on the same selection. I think there's a lot to be unpacked and unpicked there in terms of the selection process. Those guys ask very good questions about the, 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 the entrances into college because to me, sports, and I've been saying it on this program over, sports and, 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 and f education are the two keys. Must be fused. And for 54,000 people, maybe 20, 30,000 youths, it's supposed to be an easier path. And, and just before we go, I want, I'm going to say this to you guys also. One of the things that our, our football association started recently, uh, over the years, each club have to adopt the primary school or school in the community. You know why? Because we, we need that hand in hand. You need to start with the players from small. I agree. And I agree. we are going to fix that to the point where if you see a, a, a school team, it must reflect the club that is there what? because it must be working together. What I don't want to do is, 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 is dilute the conversation <laughs> and because it's, I think, as I said, there's a lot more that we have to unpick. So thank you. I was wondering about um, that adoption and like on the... 15 out of 13, like the whole system you would have to do if you join the Premier League, right? Yes. Um, I, I, I do because I live in the countryside. I know the handicap of some of the clubs. I know Manta, for example, who was a Premier League team. Their school only have like 50 students. Most of the students are gone. But we must be able to work, though, with the process in our communities to use the club to build the communities. You know what happens if you build the community? You build the club. You know, so... It's something that we have and we expect. One of the things that we will have to do, and I have not hidden this at all, we have a club licensing process that grades all the clubs. But the club, the club licensing that we do is from CONCACAF. We must have a club licensing project for, which is local. So if you start off as a club with just your one team, 
we must be able to work with you in your community and bring you to that point where we could now grade you at that level. So you will have some clubs who only could do a, a, a one or two um, youths. But we will work with you. We don't expect all of them to have females because females are ticklish. Mm -hmm. And that's another story because we need to discuss how we could fix the female league. All right? I want to ask uh, so many questions, so I hear biting my tongue, and I don't think it's fair <laughs> that you keep a, p p p hitting the man the hard, some of the hard no, no, questions. There, there's I, no hard question in this. I, 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 I can't get to hit them. He will be back. He will be back. He will be back. He will have to be back. And I, really I like your questions, guys. Thanks a lot, Don. I mean, you've been enlightened so far, and uh, obviously there's a lot more we have to unpick. But... In making that appointment, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing no the information. Problem. And thank you, audience, for sticking with us for that additional 20 minutes. And thank <laughs> you guys for understanding there afterward. And, yeah, looking forward to seeing you again next week on the bench.